hello hello back again to show you my finished snippet strip whoops I have added a few things to it ribbons and buttons and little applique flowers crocheted flower and some little pieces of broken jewelry some beads some pearls, some more broken jewelry, some lace on top, and some trims. And so there it is. That is my finished snippet. It's hard to say, finished snippet. What do you think? I think it's really pretty. And I could have kept going, but honestly, if I make a bigger one, it will just get rolled up and put in a drawer somewhere. I plan on using this one in some upcoming journals. And I'm just going to show you quickly, I'm not going to cut it up today, but I will show you quickly what can be done with it. I'll just show you in my existing personal journal that you could use it for, um, say, a tuck spot. It could go like that and be a tuck spot. It's really pretty. You just find the, the piece you want and you cut it off and glue it down. Glue there, glue there, glue there. You've got a beautiful tuck spot. Or it could be a pocket on the bottom like that. It could be a belly band, what they call a belly band. You would glue on either end of where you're cutting and then you just stick your tag in there. It would just hold it like that. See? Um, another thing it could be is like a page topper. It could be really pretty. I could turn it this way and have the lace poking out um, at the top of my journal like that. Just cut it there and there. I have the lace showing at the top. Oh, you can't see that. The lace showing up at the top. You can, can you picture it? I don't want to cut it today or else I would show you. But I'm not going to use it in this journal. That, and this is the only journal I have to show you as an example. So another thing it could be used for um, is like a um, tag topper. Just cut off the part you want and you could staple it or glue it down. You could pick any part that you want to be your tag topper. I'm just just kind of guess, you know, just giving you examples here. But yeah, you could do that. Another thing it can do is it can actually go on your journal. It could be like a, a closure. This journal's way too big, but you kind of get the idea, right? It could also be glued onto your spine as a decoration on your spine. So many things, I told you. So many things you can do with a belly band. Uh, a belly band. What is this thing called? A snippet strip. <laughs> It's been a long day. I am really tired. Worked hard the last couple days at work. <clears throat> and I keep thinking, I'm too old for this. I'm slinging bags around like I'm 30. But I'm not. 55. Anyways, I have another thing I want to show you today. I'll just put my snippet strip up here. So you can, so you can admire it. Um... I made something else today uh, with, it, uh, it was inspired by um, Satyria 18, that channel I told you about. And um, these were just some little flowers she made. Well, I made these after watching her YouTube video. 
but I did mine just a little bit different. Kind of cute, aren't they? Look at these little guys. They're adorable. So the way I made mine, and you guys won't believe it, I think I've come up with a new idea. A new reusing idea. Do you know what this is? I've already torn into it. This one. Do you know what that is? <laughs> it's a coffee filter. A used coffee filter. You know when you take it out of the basket from your coffee pot and it's full of grounds and wet, yucky stuff? I just pull it out, take it to the garbage, or the compost, dump my grounds into the compost, and then I rinsed this under the sink and it, in about five minutes it was dry. And then I thought, what can I use this for? So I came up with this idea from Septeria 18. And um, she used, what did she use? Was it maybe tissue paper or something? I'm trying to think now. Can't exactly remember what she used, but I wanted to find a use for these coffee filters. And so I just took the lid off of a hair product of mine and I set it down and I tore around the edge. I don't even need a pencil, I don't need scissors. All you need to make this is some glue. I just tore it around. I end up with a little circle. I'm gonna do that a few more times. I think four is what I made those ones out of. So I'll just tear around four times. Sometimes I don't get a perfect tear, so I just kind of, it, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's kind of a messy little flower. So that's two. Let's see if you can get it. If you can grab a good end and tear nicely, it works pretty good. Just got a little bit of extra there. So that's three. Let's do one more. I mean, I haven't seen anybody else on YouTube making anything for their junk journal out of an old used coffee filter, but there might be. There might be someone out there that has good ideas to use them. I used to throw them in my compost bin, but they didn't break down. And um, next thing I know, all my coffee filters are blowing all around the forest. Oh, do you see how I tore that? That doesn't matter. It's going to be fine. And then I just took a smaller one. I have two smaller lids. This is from a glue stick, and this is from a leave-in conditioner. This is from my mousse. <laughs> yes, I use a lot of product in my hair, if you must know. I have very frizzy hair. If I don't put any product in it, I'm a total frizz ball. So yeah, I need the chemicals for my hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda clean that off a little bit. Okay, so there, I have one smaller one and four of the main big ones. So then all I'm gonna do is take my glue, I'm just gonna put a little dab in the center. Just a little dab will do ya. And then I pop that one on, another little dab. I'll pop that one on with my torn edge. Oop, oop, the glue's coming through my uh, filter even. Stick it in my finger. Okay, and then we just need a little dab for the center. There you go. And then to finish it off, on some of them I used um, some of these um, little flower centers. 
from Dollar Tree. And that was like this one, had that center in it. And then for the rest, I used some little half pearls, or I think that's what they're called. Yeah, pearl halves. I've got some here, different colors. Um, I just have them on a key ring because I got these all at the thrift store. Um, and then for this one, I used just this little, little uh, diamondy looking one, rhinestone one. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that again, the rhinestone one. Maybe let's try to take it out of here, just because. This one's already open. Yeah, I'll just peel that off. Oops, a little sticky came with it, came off of it. But that's okay because I'm gonna glue mine anyways. I always glue mine because I don't trust those stickies to stay. And then I'm just gonna pop that right down in the center. There you go. So you can leave it like that. You could leave it um, natural color and you can just, you know, you just kind of pinch up your edges to, to um, of course my glue's not dry so it's not going to work very good. But I just kind of rough it up a little, could just go like that and then pull them back, kind of like that, just kind of give them all a fluff. I think they're cute. That could probably even be, um, you could ink your edges and that would look cute too. Maybe we'll try that on one. Try and keep this video a little shorter. My last video um, hasn't been loaded up yet. I've been trying. We've been trying uh, since Sunday and today's Wednesday to get my other YouTube video up where I actually made this snippet strip. But we're having technical difficulties so it's coming it it should be up very soon and then i'll put this one up this one up um but yeah these ones what did i do to get them colored i just i uh, put it away i just took my trusty old watercolor paints from walmart i think i got these at walmart perhaps even the thrift store i don't know why can't I open them? Okay, what's the combination? Abracadabra, what's the secret word? To get me into this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so moving all my paraphernalia. I'll show you how I painted them. So I just took my um let's do let's do a purpley blue. I just went like this. I just painted that guy all around. And then I went back over it with more water because that's a pretty dark color. And it kind of goes through all the layers. And then the, when it dries, it, it looks nice. Nicer than it's looking right now, I can tell you that. Oh, you're not, uh, hey, did you even see? what I was doing there. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, so then when it dries, these layers might be stuck together, but you can just pull them apart. But yeah, you can see how it's already coming through, all the layers. See, oh, lost me rhinestone. Guess I didn't have enough glue on there. Or maybe because I made it wet before it was fully dry. My bad. Sorry. There. We'll just let that little fella dry. Ooh, that's going to be a pretty one. I like that color. Okay. So, let's make one more. Just for fun. I want to try that inking on the edges and see if I like that. On a plain one. So yeah, I'll I'll have two videos up here shortly because for some reason, well, oh, wow, I really tore that one. Huh, that 
that's okay. Let's use it anyway. Um, for some reason, it was almost loaded. I think one of the cats accidentally stepped on the um, keypad of the computer and then it it stalled and then my husband had to restart it and then it just was taking forever and ever and he's like well maybe if I try to make the file smaller I don't know all this all this technical jargon so anyways possibly tonight and then I'll put this get him to put this video up as quickly as he can I mean my subscriber is waiting. I hate making you wait. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we've got three. That that one that I tore, that could be interesting to try and ink, but we'll see. This is all a work in progress right here live. Live from Northern Alberta, Canada. Okay, there, we got four. And this time I'm going to make a small one using my smaller little piece. I mean, I suppose you could draw around these things and cut out your circles if you're picky that way. I'm not. I also don't have a punch that would... Well, I do. I do have a punch. I could try it. But I don't know if it would if it would work on a coffee filter. Okay, so that's going to be my center. Ooh, you know what? I think we'll make even a smaller one. We'll have a center of a center. How about that? Let's try it. Look, I've almost used a whole coffee filter. One whole coffee filter saved from the landfill. One coffee filter at a time. She's saving the world. Okay, there, oh yeah, oh yeah. The more layers you have, I think the cooler it'll look. Anyways, excuse me while I get my ink pad. I didn't think I was gonna do that, but it just kind of hit me as we were playing around here. Maybe I should try, what would happen if I, what, oh, it's really hard to ink on my hand. Hold on, hold on. I got a piece of envelope here. Maybe I can do it like if I lay it down. Oh, maybe I should try and be on camera. What if we, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna look kind of neat. I think. Okay, so there's our center. And there's our, that was our center center. This is our center. I just want the edge inked. I don't want the whole thing. My ink pad's a little, it's pretty old. It's getting dry. Ooh, I kind of like when I scrunch it like that. Oh man, you know, the things you figure out when you're playing around, hey? Ooh, I'm just using my ink pad to kind of lift the edge. That might turn out cool. Come on. Kind of bashing it. I'm kind of bashing it towards my fingers. Oop, I'm really inking my fingers. That's all I'm doing. Oh well. Fun times. I really should be going to bed. I'm so tired. She works hard for the money. Do, 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 do so hard for it, honey. Ugh, zoiks. Stick to your day job, huh? She works hard for the money, so you better treat her right. That's right. Almost done. Hang in there. It's gonna be a shorter video than my last one. Oof, that baby was like an hour long. 
hair. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna, I think this is gonna look good. I hope so, after all that. Okay, get rid of that. Now, glue. Oh, here she comes, flying into view. Oh no. Come on. There it is. Uh, hello. I'm trying to want to show my little raggedy edges here. Go like this, maybe. Oops. Oops. Yep, yep, that's good. Oh, good gravy. I should be called the Clumsy Crafter. Come craft with the Clumsy Crafter. go. And then this one. Oops. Are you upside down? No, that's right. Now, I'm going to use, we're not going to paint this one. We're leaving it, we're leaving it, uh, we're going to leave it the way it is. Oh, natural, except for the ink, of course. to stick that guy down there. Oh, I love it. Now you can leave it flat. Like if you, if you're putting this in your journal, my glue will dry clear. If you're putting it in your journal, um, you don't want a lot of bulk sometimes. So you can leave these flat. You don't have to fluff them up, but I think they're kind of cute if you do fluff them up. I'm just gonna take that little edge off there. There, isn't that cute? Okay, so now you're saying, well, uh, yeah, those are somewhat cute, but what the heck do you do with them? Well, let me show you. Back comes out my journal, my personal journal. Just clear some space here. Move my little flowers out of the way. I'm going to zoom out a little here, and I'm going to tip, tip up a little bit. Oops, sorry, a little rough ride there. Sorry, sorry. So, flipping through here to my blank page. Look how pretty they are if you just put them on the edge of the page. Huh? What do you think? Isn't that pretty? like it could be like a border could put it on a piece of cardstock and then you've got a tuck like you did with your snippet strip or um, I got stuff everywhere here you could use them as a tag topper not pretty I think it's pretty or what else was I thinking I could do with these things? Um, yeah, I, I thought I would just put them kind of across the page, maybe? Not this guy, he's not quite dry. Maybe this sweet little guy. Look how cute that is. I like that. Or you could use it on um, a cluster of some kind and you know, put it on the edge of your page. Your, um, say this is a cluster. Not that one. Totally uncoordinated. Yeah, something like that. On the edge of your page. That would look cute. If that's the edge of my page. Oh, sorry. There you are. You're like, yeah, I'd love to see it if you put it in frame. I don't know, I just think they're really cute. I'm sure I'll come up with more ideas of how to use them, but um, I wanted to show you because I just came up with this fabulous idea of using my coffee filters, my used coffee filters. Don't you think those are pretty? If you can think of some way of using these, let me know because I would love your suggestions. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think they're adorable. So there you go. I've shown you today a short, shorter, shorter video. My snippet rolls and my little coffee filter flowers. Snippet strip, not a snippet roll. Snippet strip. Yeah. And now, let's see, this video is under 30 minutes, so whoop, whoop, yahoo, we did it. I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye for now.